In terms of reading speed, I'm a below average reader. And over the years, I've tried many different tricks to increase my reading speed. But there's one thing I started doing last year that literally doubled the number of books I read. Reading multiple books at the same time didn't make me read any faster, but it helped me spend more time reading because it turned reading into something that I actually looked forward to. In this video, I'll share some tips for reading multiple books at once, and I'll divide them into three parts. Things to consider before you start reading, things to consider while you're reading, and things to consider after you're done reading. Whether or not the story actually happened is not a very useful way to categorize a book. For example, I don't see why Teja Cole's Every Day is for the Thief and No Sorry was looking for Trans Wonderland should be on separate shelves. Both books are about Nigerians in diaspora getting reacquainted with the country of their parents. The fact that one of them is fiction and the other is non-fiction is completely irrelevant. Instead, think of books in terms of their general structure, which is to say, is it written as a narrative, a series of interviews, or as an instructional document? I suggest reading books that deal with similar themes, but come at it from different angles, using different structures. Basically, think of the number of books you feel very confident about reading at the same time, then add one more book to that. And if right now that number for you is zero, then start with one. I always have a physical book, a Kindle, my phone, and an audiobook. And each device has a different book on it. That way, I can mentally separate what I'm reading. You can also differentiate the books by where you read them, or what times you read. Maybe one book is strictly for bedtime reading, and another while you're commuting. Just because you're reading multiple books at once, doesn't mean that you have to read them all at the same pace. Some books are more challenging than others. Some take longer to get through. And we form different relationships with different books. There are many reasons why you may not want to stick with a book you've started. And if you want to increase your chances of picking it up later in the future, when you'll be more ready for each other, it's better to leave it now before resentment sets in. One of the main advantages of reading multiple books at the same time is seeing how they connect to each other because nothing exists in a vacuum. So a useful question to always ask yourself when reading is, how does this book connect to that other book I'm reading? How will this character behave in that other story? How will this principles be applied in that other situation? I take notes about everything I read on Obsidian. These are not just direct quotes from the books, but thoughts I had about the things I read in my own words. Questions that came up for me. Things I found surprising. Things I disagree with. I'll make a video at some point about my note-taking process. And if you'd like to be notified when that happens, subscribe and hit the bell. And maybe YouTube will let you know when that happens. Even more important than taking notes is sharing what you've learned with other people. You can write a blog post, make a YouTube video, or just bring it up in conversation with friends. Not only is it a generous thing to share something with someone who would potentially benefit from it, it's also one of the best ways for us to learn. Because in trying to explain something to someone, we discover the gaps in our own understanding. And those are some of my tips. If you think there's something I've missed or have tips for me to help improve my reading speed, let me know in the comments down below. And if the idea of reading multiple books at the same time seems scary to you, that is quite normal. I made a video about the fear of starting something new and you can watch that right after this. Meanwhile, the point of reading multiple books at once isn't to read more books although that's likely to happen. The point is to have more fun while reading.